Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I am joined by Bragg from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Yes, what's written below me is correct. Cowboy for Game anime coming soon. Oh, I'm so, I was I'm so thinking, fucking keen. I was thinking. I'm so fucking keen. Uh, so, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Bragg. Uh, built budget Vikings, whatever you might call his budget. We'll see how that goes. Uh, then just doing the rest of the dual pass because I left it to the last minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The play is to do it when it first comes out, finish it, no, and then no, don't no, touch it. No, no, no. The game was shit then. The game's good now. Is it? Yep. Why? Because? I, s- well, I don't know why you think it's good. Off you. Continue your weekend, you get brag. I don't know, I just, I, I mean, I still can summon for a cash tier card and they scoop like 50 50 games. Um, but yeah, so Gate Guardian bricks terribly, wins the matches. Eh. Better. Okay. My week was alright. Uh, at locals, I went X1. Can't complain. Um, I made some interesting tech choices in Fire Kings this week in an attempt to. I guess play around the incoming cards mm. and not wanting to change my deck too drastically once those cards arrive I was like I'm going to put in that fire level 4 that when you add it it's a pyro, when you add it from deck to hand you special summon it, mm. it's a tuner mm. and then if another card leaves the field or another monster leaves the field you can modify its level up or down 1 mm. 3 times per turn mm. so I was like, yes this will work handsomely in practice, mm-hmm. didn't work. Oh. Um, like, in theory, work was great. I hard drew it. Oh, I drew yeah, it yeah. more than I drew the... Uh, uh, Ash. No, 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 no. Wanted. No, the other one. Yalpstar. The expensive one. Bonfire. Okay. My brain was stuck on rekindling. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... Well, that's how you get a bonfire. Um... So yeah, that happened uh, on camera against Harry. Spoilers for when you watch that video, which by timeline goes up tomorrow. Um, it is three a.m. Yeah, I'm doing the math. Yeah, it's a late night pod. Um, I was about to say for the first time, but we always record at three a.m. Yes. Um, so yeah, uh, against him, I had uh, the bonfire and I had Sneak Eyes Ash. Mm. So I only had one other target in my deck, which was the the monster, and I was like, "Well, I can draw close to any card in my deck here, and it not completely brick me. I can normal summon the ash. I can search off the thing, special summon it, ash, send the two, summon snake eyes, and at least do something." And then I drew it. And I was like, "Ah, the one card in my deck that does nothing," and then I scooped. Um, so that was that. It was fine. The only time I ever was like, here we go, we're going full combo, I got nipped. Because it just plays you into nip. I was like, eh. yeah. Because yeah. you got to stand to get the modifications off to turn into a Baron. So it's like, mm. okay. If you have pop blood, nib's not as bad. Yeah. This. This oh. nib, yeah, happens. Um, so that leads me into Master Duel. Because I've been grinding Master Duel. Because you also left your battle pass too late. Yes, but now there's a deck I want to play in Master Duel, and it's Super Heavy Samurai. Yep. Hey. It's great. I can play hey. 15 yep. hand traps. I can open five of them and, and no starters. Yep. Managers want to cosplay as Josh. There's, there's a lot of times where I open like a starter and then one of each hand trap, and I'm just like, I don't know if this is because the game's coded poorly. Mm. No, it's RNG. Just trust. Just trust. <laughs> the but algorithm yeah. here. I get max seed a lot, and I'm yes. just like, I've now just turned around to be like, do I have hand traps in hand? If the answer is yes, I just pass. If the answer is no, I make a baron, and then I lose because I gave them five cards. Uh, so yeah, that's that. I've unlocked the hungry burger. Yes. Uh, I might keep going to level 100. <gasps> I might not. Oh. Uh, but yeah, that was my week in Yu-Gi-Oh. Ooh. 
So my week. Um, so still very much enjoying the uh, Hawkist Bestial deck that I've cooked up. Uh, a profile will be going up soonish. Um, I'm not in control of when it gets edited and uploaded, but I will record it and it will go up at a Ooh, point. Turn that bastard around as soon as you want. Lovely. Uh, so it'll be coming soon. Um, we can have it up before this video comes out. <gasps> shocking. Um, but definitely but, not. Yeah, probably not. No. Uh, no. I can get it done. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But we wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really enjoying that deck. Really enjoying it. Um, so now is the point where I don't know what I'm going to run for YCS and it's gotten to that crux point of like I really need to like lock down like at least I'd say two solid choices so that like I can test them out see which I like better and then getting closer to time again then lock one down and just hammer it I know what you should play I've seen Jake tossing up the idea of playing Fire King and I'm like no this doesn't seem like a Jake decision no what do you mean it destroy yeah, but no. I know. What Explain you to play. me though. Like, Fire King good. doesn't scream Jake. Yeah, but that doesn't. That's not an explanation. That's just a feeling. What's What's the reasoning behind me not being a Fire King guy? Why aren't I a Fire guy, Ben? Why are you trying to keep me out of the fire? This is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, I've called you out. No, it's it's. You know, like. When your uncle comes back from war and like where the fuck is this going? Things have changed. Yeah, this is like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're used to him being off in the corner with Ali or whatever other decks. Okay, so let's backtrack this a bit. Yeah, it doesn't. Not, not what was no, it? we're not. It's not this is a meta thing because we know you like the Orcas. You've had your time. And oh, I couldn't tell you any other decks. Is it because it's irrelevant? Make... Yeah, huh? but that fusion what? summon. That that's irrelevant. I, no, you like I, the, you like the color purple. When was the last time I played a fusion deck in real life, Ben? Well, that's what I'm suggesting. He'll be playing one at YCS. Yeah. I tell you that much. Yeah, yeah, but that's because Terrellman got a hit. <laughs> yeah, but it's not as if I haven't had branded sitting there for ages, ready. Sitting to play. there, sitting I there. completely forgot that branded existed. And here's <laughs> and that's my point. Play branded. I don't want to play Brandon. It can just go so mental, though. I'm not entirely convinced it's going to suck. Do you know why I don't want to go Brandon? Why? Because Ash is the most prevalent hand trap in the fire But meta. you don't lose not to anymore. Hmm? You don't lose to Droll. Everyone's going to cut their Ashes. They're going to be playing Drolls. Just make it work. Play it on Anyway, play this is the play position I'm in. There's a lot of decks I could play, but I, I don't know which... That I want to play. I told Seb yesterday or this morning that I wouldn't be playing cross out and then he could borrow my cross outs. Uh -huh. The longer today has gone on and the more I've been looking at decks in my deck and being like chopping and changing, the more I'm like, am I have room for cross out? I, I, could, I could really use a cross out. <laughs> I could fit a cross out in here. That's good enough. I don't even want it. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm in the physical card game. Um, oh, on Tuesday I went X1 as well. Uh, lost to my least favourite floodgate of all time, being Tikaboo. Because uh, <laughs> he opened the one of, and I didn't open any of the Horus cards, which would have let me play around it brilliantly. My opponent activated Tikaboo, and I was like, ah, oh, I remember when I used to side that, and I went. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then in Master Duel, um, what am I doing in Master Duel? Oh, the season just reset, and the pass is about to uh, reset in a couple of days, so I'm just sort of chilling. Um, still just playing Sword Soul. I changed it a little bit. I've got the Heavenly Dragon thingy in there now to dodge the Imperm that my Moji almost definitely incurs every time I fucking play it. Play Sword Soul. I don't own Sword Soul. Well, it can't be that hard to own now. Everyone's got them lying around, right? I don't know. Plus, like, to play Sword Soul IRL takes a lot more skill than what I apply to it in Master Duel. In Master Duel, it's like, oh, I'm going second, draw phase maxi. Please stop playing. <laughs> just just get skill. I don't just have, have any. Go I quiet don't skill. have it, Brad! I won't go that bad. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I would say it's easy to pilot, but... I literally just used to go Protoss, 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 Protoss. And yeah, you're not... Protoss, and I was like, for sale? 
<laughs> that's that's pretty much exactly how it happened, isn't it? Yeah, it's exactly how it happened. <laughs> Just spitting in the <laughs> face of the heart of the cards, the yep. face heart. Whereas, like, they, they bought me untold winnings and glory. Yep. But I'm now selling I'm you for 30 bucks. Like, you would have got more than that for it, surely. I, yeah. Yeah, I sold the whole thing. It's only worth 30 bucks now, so pick it up. Nah. And then play Brandon. Um, and then, yeah, um, I'm just quickly on Master Duel, because there's way more important news. Um, they did their TCG Tryout Duel. They still kept a lot of cards banned, strictly speaking, that should have come back. Yeah, I was mad. Speaking. Um, yeah, I was going to say, they just did the ban list on top, didn't they? They didn't retroactively adjust. Did. They kind of did both, because like they applied some of the current TCG bans, like Arise was gone, obviously Max Heat was gone, yes. um, and a bunch of other stuff. But then like Dragoon still wasn't legal. Yeah, because uh, they banned things and didn't take things back. Merle was still banned. Merle was still banned, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. But it does hint at what I said last week, in that they could eventually do what they said they'd do from the start and separate the TCG and OCG. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll learn more about that tomorrow in the second stream of the Tokyo Dome. I don't think I want them to split the main lists. Would you not? No. Why not? Like, if they did, I would just play OCG. Why OCG over TCG? I mean, because it's out. Because I can just play TCG. I don't want to relive a format that I lived through nine months ago. Or a format that won't exist. Uh, that's a fair point, I suppose. Yeah, like... But I hate Maxi. <laughs> Give me OCG, just minus the Maxi. They'll have to come to a point where they hit it. You say that, but it's been legal there. Yeah, I'm talking like for five years' time. A long, <laughs> long time. Maybe a couple more reprints out. Yeah. The seal agrees. Uh, just agrees. Uh, as I mentioned before, um, we have just had our first stream from the Tokyo Dome. How was it? Well, five stars. Yeah. Seven stars? Maybe seven. Six and a quarter. We were pretty hot. Twas pretty good. Uh, six, uh, six and a quarter. So yeah. stuff that they Isn't announced today... Five stars. So stuff that they announced from today was from Duel Links, Rush Duel, and the OCG. Um, so Master Duel tomorrow. Yeah, more than likely Master Duel tomorrow. Oh, and the last thing, which I'll save for the last, because it's... Um, so, starting with Rush Duel, um, where was it? Here. Uh, so they've got a new pack coming out. Uh, they get uh, Jinzo support, they get uh, Valkyrian support, uh, they get the Red Eyes Meteor, was it Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon? Is that the one? Uh, the one I saw was Black Skull Dragon. Red Eyes Black Skull Dragon, yeah. Black Skull, that's the one. Yep, so they get that. Um, and then they get a few of the newer archetype cards. They get Deep Space Vidrago. Um, Oh, it's a Cybers. I didn't realise they had Cybers in there. Yeah. Huh, there Does you go. it take seven runs? No, it Don't needs care. three copies of Space v Vidrago. Nah, it's, Drago. it's just the new thing. We ignore that. And all love goddess, no idea what that is. Um, yeah. I brought up Rush Duels for your sake, you clearly don't care. It doesn't so say we'll seven runs? I don't care. It's okay, it's okay. Um, and then seven runs fusions. And then we get uh, further hints of what's coming out in the uh, Chronicle side Unity and side Pride. Uh, so the... which one is that? Unity is getting reprints of Heater, Win and Dark, as well as an alternate art copy of Tuning. Uh, and then the Pride is getting Eusa... I can't remember what the water one's called. Uh, and Liner. It's Aaron. Is it Aaron? I actually think it is. I'm pretty. I, I look. I'm not confident enough to correct him. It sounds about right, but also I'm not. I don't have. But yeah, Earth, Water, and Light Wind Charmers are getting reprinted of that one, as yep. well as an alternate art of. Uh, Forgot the name of it now. That is limited removal. Limited removal. Yes, I was absolutely struggling for a second. Um, yes. I don't like either old arts. I don't hate them, but also wouldn't go out of my way to get them. Them being in 25th does not make me like them more. But the other thing that they hint at is the two... Um... Yeah, error. Oh, I was right! Oh, there you go. Oh. Um, but what these two do hint at is the reason why we got the style of art 
that we did for those V Jump promos for the Monster Reborn and the Soul Exchange because they're very similar art styles. Yeah, it's got like the anime. It's got like the monster the and theme. the original artwork integrated Spell into Cardo. one. Yeah, um, imagine if they made retrains of tuning and limited removal. They don't need a retrain tuning. Limited removal, maybe. Maybe it needs to special summon a cyber dragon and then activate the double. God, limited and, removal. Oh, so imagine good. that though, because you could activate that at the damage step. <laughs> this fucking jump scare cyber dragon. <laughs> <laughs> um, by the looks of it during the stream, although it hasn't been put out in any of these. I'd assume, based on the fact that they didn't at this point announce those alt arts for Dark and Light Charmer, I'm just going to assume we're getting Dark and Light Charmer main deck monsters. We already have those. Do we not? No. We only have the other four as main deck monsters. We don't have Light and Dark main decks. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Jake consulting YGO prices again as his number one source. And you're wrong. Yeah, what about the first one? No, ones? it's like of the new... You know how we got those new ones? The one in each set? Same with the way with the links? Okay, so they're brand new cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you said we didn't have any main deck ones. Sorry. So. I mean of those, the new ones, where you normally okay. summon it, you get the thing, and you get the extra effect when it's popped and whatever. Okay. I only remember the fire one, to be honest. Uh, and then we have the announcement of... I don't think it's the next main set I it think is it's the, the next main set is it I thought it was the next next main set because mm. they announced something else it'll a few on, weeks ago it'll be our August set that, that's the next main set because their main set has just come out so it's three months from now so that's the next main set oh yeah it does have yep yeah. okay end of April so yes. this one is called Infinite Forbidden um, although at uh, time of recording we do not have all of the translations for it yet it uh, from what set. we have seen of it it is primarily uh, centered around the Being forbidden dog one. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. So it's kind of sold on what they put up on the stream as Exodia support. What they didn't mention really is that a lot of it to, is to do well DM support. Yeah, and Sarcophagus of Light, which is DM support. I mean, the first iteration wasn't. And was Millennial just all Shield. Yugi's garbage cards yeah but we're still like it, it's Yugi support still must support yeah um the interesting thing I did find out Grandpa's like, deck. when I said DM I didn't mean Dark Magician I mean like DM Eros support yeah yeah okay um the Solomon interesting Motos. thing about it is that yes. the set that's getting them to start with already had a bunch of cards and this is getting a whole nother bunch of cards, oh. but way more than what they usually do. Because usually the second run has like three or four new cards, whereas this is getting like eight to ten. Yeah. But surely you can run the new Exodia stuff separate to the Sarcophagus stuff. Potentially. We haven't gotten the full translation no. yet. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, surely that Millennium Shield is just going to well, be hopefully like... Hopefully it'll come up live during and the podcast. Then, uh, yes, I will keep you posted if I get What's that weird looking more. ogre Pokemon? Pokemon. Ogre Digimon. Pop? Um, yeah, the it's Sen June Sen something that was in like that's in the arts as well. Send you the thousand hands. No. Oh wait, the one-eyed one. Send you. Yeah. Hit Sunemi Giant. Hit Hotsumi no. Giant. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, um, so we do know two of them so far uh, that have been translated for us. We have. Uh, I'm going to say Dark Magician, the Ebon Sorcerer. Yes. Uh, so, uh, if Gold Sark of Light is on the field, special summon this card from your hand. This name becomes Dark Magician while in the monster zone. If this card is destroyed by card effect and a level 5 or higher monster is on the field, not your field, the field, uh, oh. special summon this card, then you can set one spell trap directly from your deck that mentions Dark Magician. Like, it should just do that on summon. I mean,. Yeah, but... Like, that wouldn't make it busted. They already have a card that sets Eternal Soul from deck. Yeah, yeah. Like, what are you going to do? Set fucking Circle as well? Give it to them. They already have to open the Gold Sark as well as then having this card. I haven't read, like, I haven't read the support since we talked about it here on the pod, but do they have a searcher for the Gold Sark of Light? It probably takes you to almost Do they have an Imseti? Uh, just, I just give them a noon setty. Like, a dark it. Just you should go your discard. Yeah. I was fighting a bird. Or a Karibo. Mm. Um, um, and then we get a new oh, yeah, Mirror Force, the 
dark magic barrier mirror force. Uh, mirror when force opponent's is mon cute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when opponent's monster declares an attack or an opponent's monster effect is activated that will destroy a monster or monsters on the field, and a monster that mentions Gold Sark of Light is on the field, the next time each monster you control that mentions Gold Sark of Light would be destroyed or by battle or card effects this turn, it is not destroyed. No. Also destroy all opponent's attack position monsters, and if you control Dark Magician, inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each monster destroyed by this effect. Makes Dark Magician, makes or Mirror Force more of the way Mirror Force was in the anime. But now, when we when we're doing uh, drunk Yu-Gi-Oh, we have to be like Yu-Gi-Oh didn't say the correct card title. He said Mirror Force, not New Mirror Force. Ah, we gotta take a drink. <laughs> um, so from the Ben world of rough translations, we did get, of course, Exodia support announced. Uh, which translation has just gone live? Yeah, yeah. translation Ooh. has just gone live. Jake ah. said he would bring us the information first. He in fact did not. Two other people at the table knew before he. I did. will say as I have it. Fuck you. So, the Phantom, Exodia Incarnate. Yep. Uh, that, that, that question mark attack, zero defense, five forbidden one monsters. Oh, straight up. Uh, cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Uh, second effect, once per turn, if this card battles, at the start of the damage calc, you can make this card gain attack equal to your life points. Once per turn, when a spell or trap, third effect, sorry. Once per turn, when a spell or trap or effect is activated, quick effect, you can ne negate the activation. Fourth effect, once per turn, during either end phase, you can oh. set one Exod Ooh. spell or trap or obliterate directly from your deck. Oh. So it's Exod, so this... not card that lists Exodia. Yep. Exod. With two X's. Okay. Uh, and then once per turn, during your standby phase, lose 1,000 life. Yeah. Okay, I'm assuming all the new support then has the E double XOD, because uh, with a quick search, I found one card. Yes, uh, the, Exod, the... Master of the yeah. Guard. <laughs> yes. Oh, I forgot he's back there. Yeah, he's back there. Hey, buddy, you're getting support. Uh, Millennium Cross, reveal five forbidden one cards in your hand deck, face up field or graveyard, special summon one, Exodia Incarnate from your extra deck, then shuffle all face up monsters, cards you control into the deck. Oh, so it's not even except itself. Summon. It's just a special summon? Yeah. So he's got to reveal So you can't bring it back. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, Exodia cards with original level 10 or higher or Senjinjin. Jin. Excuse me? Senjinjin. Jin. Like, that's the card I was thinking of. That weird fucking... Senjinjin. Jin. Jin? Yeah, it's... It It always reminds me of the cursed Digimon in the Digimon movie. That guy! Oh! oh yeah. Senjinjin! Okay. Jin. Of course! Yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, because I remember seeing his dumb face. I'm like, oh, that's that Digimon. What's his flavor text to give him... Did uh, that give him Exodia lore? An unstoppable savage that carries millennium items. Oh... Um. Um. It's Bakura when he takes his makeup off. Yeah. Except without the extra dragon penis. Uh, Golem Guard of the Millennium Treasure. Earth, Rock, level 6 effect monster, 2k attack, 2200 defense. You can place this card from your hand. Spell attack. Trap Zone is a continuous spell. Ooh. If this card's a continuous spell, you can pay 2k, reveal one Millennium Cross in your hand, special summon this card, then you can add one Temple Stone of Tablets from your deck to your hand. What the fuck? <laughs> More cards than every that Every enough. time we get to another card... <laughs> Uh, so you could get the Millennium Cross to your hand. Well, nothing's out of the Millennium Cross. Uh, Exodia Blaze, quick play spell. All Exodia monsters on the field with a level 10 or higher. Gain the following effects. Pay half your life points. Destroy all cards in the spell and trap zones. Then you equip five. Then you can equip five Forbidden One monsters from your hand deck to handle deck to this card as an equip card. What? Then give, but you've already sent them to the graveyard. Then give it 2k for each. Also, for the rest of this turn, you probably cannot you cannot activate cards or effects except. <laughs> Uh, does it say except forbidden one? And then does piercing as well. Um, is no. there a way to bounce? No. So this is the last. This is, that's the last thing you end on. Like that's the exod card you get, and then go. All right, now my big guy can attack with piercing. But you've also paid half your life points to get there, so he's only got four k as opposed to no. But it gains, he, it gains two k per limb. Oh, okay. So four, six, eight. 12, and you can't have any quick play spells, so you wouldn't so be able to have the king stock. Hey, the other one giant trunade can never be unbanned. No. Nope. No. The trap cards, the rotor, or shuffle five forbidden ones into your deck or banishment of the deck. There's a couple other effects, but it doesn't. Oh, if you control level 10 or higher, exactly must have destroyed all cards your opponent controls. Just just a little thing, you know. But it's a trap card, so. 
Uh, Temple of the Stone Tablets, Field Spell. During your main phase, you can place one monster from your hand or spell and trap zone as a face up continuous spell. Then place one Millennium Monster card or send Jinjin. Oh, you looked out of effects anyway. Sorry. Yeah, from your deck into your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell. If your face up Millennium Monster or send Jinjin is destroyed by battle card effect, you can place this card. You can place it in your spell and trap card as a. Well, so it just doesn't. It just leaves them out there. Why the send Jinjin? Yeah, I don't understand why Senjinjin is so involved in this archetype. Were they just like, oh, everyone Can, loved Gate Guardians. So have I missed didn't. that they can't get Millennium Cross? Yes. Surely the Millennium... Right, so the, we haven't seen the, like, the Millennium Shield isn't up yet, so... I, I imagine, the, I imagine the Millennium Shield, yeah, so it will be a special summon that added from there. What do you reckon they'll call it for us? Because they won't be called Millennium Cross. They're going to have to censor a bunch of these cards. Millennium Reborn. Look, potentially. Millennium Fusion. Make it searchable. <laughs> oh, Christ. Do it. Uh, yeah. Please. Um, so, yeah, waiting yeah, on some more news on that, um, as well as the day two. So, like, that's all... <sighs> it's a win con. That's yeah. not a deck. Yep. Yeah. Or is it a deck? Or is it a win con? Look, you could, I think you could just play this. What? What's obliterate do? Uh, so you send an Exodia piece from your deck or hand to the graveyard and bounce a card, and then okay. not in the same turn, but if it's destroyed while it's face up, you add all forbidden one cards that are in your graveyard to your hand. Destroyed by opponent's card effect? Uh, I don't know if it needs to be destroyed by your opponent, to be honest. Um, let's pull up obliterate. Yeah, look. I guess this is the kind of way that, that this, this card is, the is sent from the spell and trap zone to the graveyard. Target one forbidden, uh, one or one Exodia card in your graveyard. Oh, it's only one. It's just one. I was because that's that's an auto win right there. If that adds all five, I'm sure there was one that did. You can sit in your end phase and then pop it. The, your opponent starts their turn. You activate MST, pop your own one, add all five pieces back. Or am I thinking Obliterate does something different to what I it does? I think there's another P. There's another one that does it. It's just the fact that it's not that one. Hmm. Anywho. Because it was set... Originally, when I translated it, I thought it was all Exodia. Like, it was a card that listed Exodia, or the, it was a card that listed the Forbidden One, and you could set it. Yeah. Which would have been fucking absurd. But no. It's just Exod, not Exodia. Yeah. Hmm. So it's only for the two new cards yeah. that have Exod on it. And then oh, the, and obliterate, yeah. And obliterate, yeah. Which makes it worse. But I'm also confused by the fact that obliterate sends, and that sends all five pieces, and the pieces are limited. So like, yes, yeah, so then you can just send more head. Off. No, head's limited as well. Oh yeah, head's limit. Yeah. So like, what does obliterate do? <laughs> Upcoming bandless change. All the pieces are at two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just to, yeah. put all the pieces to two. <laughs> Is going I mean, full in to theory, you could just do the pieces at two and keep the head at one. Put all in the arms theory. and legs to three. Yeah. Keep head at one. Yeah. One head. Yeah. Three everything else. Three yeah. left arm. Uh, but anyway, yeah, waiting on some more translations for that, so we'll keep you posted. I think that was all the translations. No, we've still got the like, shield the and shield. another one. Yeah, I think. Okay. Yeah, there's one more missing. I. There was another monster, I'm pretty sure. Maybe we'll work out what Senjinjin has to do with this fucking archetype at some point. Well, um, I mean, well, the other, like, I'm pretty sure Golem Guard of the Millennium Treasure is going to be... Oh, no, it's a rock. Yeah, so there's be another there's be another monster, too. So two well, monsters I, three, and the I shield? Think. Yeah. No, 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 no so two monsters shield. and the shield. Because the shield's also a monster. That's, two monsters, including the shield. Oh, I thought I saw another one. Hold on. Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't anyway, matter. yeah, bit to go on, but we'll have hopefully some more news at some point. I do really appreciate the fact that they're incorporating Sinjinjin into the lore of Exodia. I mean, he had no place before this, so it's like I, it, it feels almost shoehorned because at the moment it's literally just mentioning him. There's no like benefit of him. Sometimes when you are dealing with lore, though, you do just have to shoehorn things in, <laughs> like this plug. You know, like, like the segue that Jake's I'm... fucking missing. <laughs> no, because I wanted to say it last, you motherfucker. Anyway, this is because... Not last? No. We're out of news. No. What else was there? Why have we not covered that other news first? Because you were interrupted. Anyway, No, we should before... have covered that at the start to stall for more translations. No. 
We'll talk about it now. We have the newest version of the quarter century card that will be reprinted in this, the second year of oh, the quarter century. Oh, sure. started with this. Shut the do we fuck talk, up. Do we even talk about this card? No. It specs itself. We, we knew nothing about it before today. We saw the art, we? Cards in green. we only knew the art. We didn't know the we name the, of it we until probably, this we morning. We pro- we, no, we didn't. Because you literally said the name of it before. Because I, I saw it this name. morning. Yeah. That's what I said. I was literally saying that as you were telling me that I hadn't said it. No, no. He said he just said we knew the art. We didn't know the name. Correct. But we knew the name because you said the name before we knew I translated the, art the name on the screen. Way before. So we've talked about the art on a previous episode. We've talked about the we've art about ages ago. We've talked about the name ago. on an episode. Correct. Also, we probably should have seen this coming. This card's fucking, like, it's, it's just the exact same as the Magicians. Except yes. it's a dragon. This time. So, effect is exactly the same. It's a level 8 dark dragon. Uh, and, yeah, 25 attack, 25 defense. Should have seen it coming. So, yeah, more than likely we will get this in about three or four different colors. And, yeah, it pretty much confirms that the uh, 25th year will continue for a second year. That's how 25th years work. For two years. Yeah, haven't you asked any woman in her 30s her birthday how old she is? No, I don't want to die. Yeah, because they the 25th just goes... Uh, lags. It <laughs> lags. And then you're like, oh, I'm like 28. But in reality, you're like 34. Hmm. You just had your 25th six times. That's what they do. Ain't that right, Konami? Anyway. Jerome's 31. No, he ain't. His hairline's at least 45. <laughs> anyway. I feel know. like maybe we should leave Jerome alone for a couple of weeks. That was pretty bad. That was a, that was a kick. It was a kick while he was down. Poor Jerome. I feel sorry for the man. Nah, fuck Who's no. older, you or Jay? <laughs> Wait, what? We know the answer. Wait, to this. as in like Yu Gi Oh, the King of Games, a tab? No, like the game. Well, both of us are older. And you're older as well. We don't know how many times they've celebrated the 25th. We, but we do. Wait, he's close, isn't he? I think Konami's blacklighting. Oh, no, he is. Blacklighting? Gaslighting us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Jerome, tournament officials, please never black white me. <laughs> Konami. <laughs> black white! Saturday Jake is different. Oh, I'm so fucking tired, bro. Oh, yeah, true. Okay, so, the most exciting bit of news in this entire thing, and the reason I wanted to wait to talk to it last, oh, is the Jim, thing man. that I've been wanting so much for so long is the Yu-Gi-Oh! lore Have anime. You, what, what if what if we mistranslated it and that was all we're getting? They just did little shorts. Yeah. I would still be okay with that because it's a start. So, um, a bunch of archetypes were hinted at for this... Uh, Chronicles. Cr- yes, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Chronicles, Chronicles is what they're calling it. Um, so, I have to do this from memory because, again, it hasn't been done. Uh, but basically, oh. there was Branded, there was Melfi, there was Sulfur Cord. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was Zeus. There was Zeus that and Zeus Anti Zeus. It looks really good. That was the one they played, I think, for the longest. Out no, of no, all that of was actually quite short. It was, was just. It? I mean, it was longer than, it was, it was longer than the Melfi's. It was longer than the, the Melfi's. No, no, I, I, I even commented when we were watching, the Melfi's went like a little, like was shorter. I'm like, oh, that's weird. I thought they held the pan on that fucking thing's face for a long time. No, you just got lost in his eyes. Just not just I was not like, animated. damn, they're really getting up and showing you the when they took the screenshot for when they did the... For the staring contest. Yeah, the staring contest. <laughs> um, I, I swear it held that for a while and I was like, no, oh, they, they really are just reenacting staring contest, yeah. Nah. And then it blinked and then it went to the next one. So, uh, other ones were uh, 6M. Yep. Uh, Ice Barrier. Ice Barrier. Uh, Dragon Rulers. Dragon Rulers. Uh, Atlanteans and Mermals. Oh, Did you say the Charmers? Yeah, Atlanteans and... Atlanteans. Oh, the Charmers, yeah. The Charmers yeah, Vikings was... versus... Things Vikings like, yeah, versus Atlanteans. Yeah. Um, there was a lot. I'm just struggling to remember them all. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, w- yeah. No. Which uh, we called. We did this leak and we just talked oh, about Magistus. it. Oh, Magistus. What? Oh, yeah. Magistus? Got one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. They're tied to the rest of... They are... The Albert's Law. Yeah. Uh, right? Not no. Albert's. Aluba. 
No, not all good bugs. The other one that Jake summons. <laughs> Alistair. Alistair. Yes, but it's also connected to spell books and witchcrafters. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Oh my and God. another one. I think. Maybe. When the translation happens for this, for like the end credit scene for the Magistus one, when Alistair shows up, can we petition Konami uh, Animation to have Jake do the voice? I would be so down to voice <laughs> anything. I'll voice the fucking Melvy Rabby. I don't. I won't do a voice. I'll Alistair. do it for free. Mm. No, pay me, Jerome. <laughs> pay me, Jerome. I'll be the voice of the mech pilot for Zeus. Yeah, it's just like you're assuming it has a pilot. I am assuming it has a pilot. It's just commercials. It just seems to be them. fighting little ships, and I'm assuming the little ships have people in them. So I'm assuming. Well, maybe Beautiful. it can be one of the He's people in the little ships that Zeus kills. I'll give my best screen. You can do that. your <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> Uh, is it the Wilhelm scream that's in all the movies? The you Wilhelm can do one scream. of those. Yes. But yeah, the the one that they finished on, and the one that as soon as they announced that they were going to do an anime of uh, Yu Gi Oh Law, you knew was coming was Sky Striker. I I was holding out hope that they weren't because they kept stalling. Imagine it, though, it seemed like it, they finished it like three times, and I was like presentations over and they didn't announce sky strike yeah they lingered on great they lingered on sulfur chord for so long and then they had like the sulfur chord conducting the Yu-Gi-Oh battle music and it honestly it seemed like ended. yeah and then the i heard ball came back out I, and then fucking... I heard the chick on the stage starting to clap and clearly someone's just like slapped her hair down and just we're like done we're not done ray's not here yet <laughs> <laughs> we don't clap till they give us what we want then ray and rose had a sword fight can you imagine though if they didn't the fucking weebs that would riot? They didn't give a schoolgirl fighting you me. Schoolgirls. Well, they fucking are. The manuscript was right there. <laughs> they didn't even I submitted. To write. I submitted my manuscript. Please respond. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Oh, but yeah, super keen for that. Uh, no dates on that. Um, and like that's even like if they decide to give it a English dub so I wasn't sure so they made a big song and dance about bringing a guy out on stage for this announcement I'm assuming he was the producer or director of the series I got being that we don't speak or read Japanese it was very hard to tell who anyone on the stage was I, I want to point out the, yeah, he's the voice director, yeah. I want to point out though that when he came out and started talking we each had picked up on enough to know that he was talking about a new anime. Well, it's because they said... I think they said the word anime. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what I remember. Okay, maybe. It turns I've... out anime in Japan is called anime. <gasps> oh, I'm learning they Japanese. have anime in Japan! <laughs> I'm learning Japanese! <laughs> Rather interesting, I didn't... I should have Googled this to see if it existed before. Um... They didn't announce that these were being done by Konami Animation. Yeah, that's the first so, time I've seen that logo yes. and heard that music. I don't know if this is something that previously existed. Um, so, could be a new studio that's just exclusively working on Yu-Gi-Oh! anime from now on. Uh, this could also be a factor in the fact that, you know, the animation for Seven sucks. Does it? I've not watched it. No, it's, it's yeah, so it's, lazy. Yeah... It's like, yeah, they've got. It's not as bad as Seven Deadly Sins, but like, there's oh, that look the similar. fucking Netflix anime people. They can fucking get in a bin. No, I mean, this no. might this might be them, <laughs> just with a bit more time. Netflix but, anime, but that's all they need, right? This happens to the Netflix animes all the time. Is like, I feel like they get into their second and third seasons, and they're just super rushed, and they just don't draw anything outside a broad stroke like there's been a few animes that i've watched on there now and they like do the first season great and then it gets beyond that and it's just like oh we've had like 30 seconds to draw this bro this is the best we got maybe it's because you're consuming your anime from netflix that's all i really want to do i'm not that into he's not, anime he's not a crunchy roll gamer <laughs> no But anyway, super keen for that. Um, so hopefully we get some more details on that in can't tomorrow's Tokyo Dome stream. Okay, you uh, can't watch Kobayashi's on Netflix. You'll Is it not it. on Netflix? No. No, I don't know. 
Austin never checked. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, from there we move to our Discord. If you weren't aware, the link will be I in the description. Sorry. I'm in the middle. No. You always wait until I'm like in the middle of the because thing to anime, fucking speak. On the anime subject of because Kobayashi's if they were fucking with Dragon oh, Maid season for this, they'd get a cease and desist. Is there anything in the laws that they announced that could get them cease and desisted? Cosmo. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> they can't do Cosmo. They didn't announce that. They can't do that. No, nah, everything everything seemed to be kind of them. So quickly. Like maybe that maybe the Melfi stuff's trading on someone's toes, but everything else has always been I mean, it's based off their drawings, that's their IP. I, I mean, wonder if they've paid their artists. Wait, wait, weren't um Sky Strikers based on something specific? Oh, I mean just mech su- women in mech suits. I'm like, yeah, sure there's like fifty. Lot. Yeah. Oh, okay, so there's a broad stroke, so I, I'm sure there's like a, a direct there's an anime that it directly like is Probably close to, but Zeus. Yeah. But it's just mecha. Like it's an entire genre of anime. You can't just be like yeah, it's Gundam. a robot Gundam Sue. And then it plays the Gundam music and then a lawyer hops into like a lawsuit Gundam and then <laughs> <laughs> Instead of a gun it just has a briefcase. Yeah. <laughs> down uh, in the description down below, uh, you can uh, leave questions on Discord. Uh, speaking of which, first question today comes from you really fucked me up here. God damn it, Lachlan. Why couldn't you just do the voiceover? Remember when we tried that? <laughs> did we even do it? We did it once. Oh. Yeah. I, was, I mean, maybe it was here. Yeah. It, it was happened. a long time ago. So, it was uh, episode one of the video podcast. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah. Uh, link for the Discord will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, ask us questions. Our first one this week comes to us from uh, a returning listener. It's been a while since I've asked a question. Uh, Frozen Actorling. Uh, Welcome back, Frozen Actorling. Uh, Konami sometimes likes to give legacy support to decks in the form of two pendulum monsters, one low and one high scale. Mm-hmm. Uh, see Super Heavy, Samurai, Predplant, Melodious, etc. Yes. If you could give a deck this type of support, what deck would it be? just three uh, archetypes that were directly from Arc V, by the way. Okay. That's person yell at son. Well, those, those... Yeah, the, these are the decks that... Then yeah, de- they like, from the pendulum. Well, yeah, where yeah, Declan it's... turns up and goes, here's pendulum cards I made for you. It's like, can you do that? Also, uh, can you not make it shit? Basically. <laughs> uh, Amazonas got some. Sorry. I imagine... Well, on the anime side of things, remember when Declan makes the pendulum cards for DDDs and he activates them and then the simulator's like, these are too good, we are breaking... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh no! Oh. I've got to nerf these bastards and make yeah. them useless I'm... for three years. And I eventually, like, I've tested it. These pendulum cards work. It's like, okay, buddy. Yeah, I sure. remember watching like a very Can early episode. And then you put them in the tins of that season, and he played pendulum cards and played out his turn. And it was fine, but it was the DD pendulums that like lower their scales and then destroy anything that doesn't fit within the levels. And then his ball blew up, and he's like, ah. Oh, I need to fix this. And then just left the door. <laughs> yeah. He's like, ah. Oh no. Maybe my I... Car, maybe my that, car got fair and balanced in front of me. That's what happens when people don't read Pendulum Magicians properly from the old school days where like if you don't have the right scale, their scale becomes something different. <laughs> you mean oh, they don't have Star these, and Time Gazer? These don't work. <laughs> you mean they're fours? Oh, like that fucking Odd Eyes thing. That I kept trying oh, to do, and yeah, it's yeah. like every time that my cards went lower than my opponents, it changed. I'm like, no! <laughs> I activate two pen scales, I now have less cards in hand, my scales aren't the same anymore. <laughs> I can't do anything. Uh-oh. Maybe they should have included you in five turns. Um, but yeah, back to uh, the question. Um, what deck would you give Maybe pendulums? Maybe you give Zodiac cards pendulums. Oh, please fucking no. Do it. There's ben- more New Year's. Give Bandicate pendulum cards. <laughs> They should just make Barrage into a Pendulum. Ooh. What? They could do Fire King, since there's still due another 100 cards of support. They could have made Bunny Blast a Pendulum that would have been Bunny Blast. Decent. There's two Digimon references. Uh, Lawsuit? Cosmo? <laughs> <laughs> the two words synonymous <laughs> I mean I just kind of don't want any more pendulum monsters I'm like this is not part of the game anymore I mean they're a part of the game but they're not 
I like the versions of pendulums that aren't really pendulums. I liked what it was. Like um, the... Oh, I like performer What's the fucking pirate archetype now? Thunder um, Patrol. They got um, that synchro pendulum. So yeah. it's a pendulum that's not really a pendulum. That's not in the anime. Yeah. Yet. Plunder Patrol, give us. Yeah, where's the Plunder Patrol anime? Actually, did they make any TCG? Oh, they wouldn't be able to do Gold Pride. Into... No, no, they're all OCG. Because apparently Gold Pride's, Pride's a straight ripoff. Did we talk about this? No. I mean, we talked about it when it was first out. In yeah, that, that was a, a joke that it's a, reference. It's not a JoJo's reference. Is it not? No, not in the slightest. It was just because there was a guy riding a horse. So Ben was like, oh, still ball run confirmed. <laughs> But yeah, could give them pendulums. <laughs> Instead, they get a not that good main deck monster and a not that good synchro monster. The OCG support got announced a couple Samurai? of weeks ago. Samurai? Samurai could use... Six Samurai? Well, Super Heavy have plenty. You just said Samurai. There's lots of Samurai in Yu-Gi-Oh. Name a third. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is Denko a samurai? What? Is Denko a samurai? It's a paladin. What? It's a paladin. Denko? It's a paladin? Yeah. Mm. Women can't be samurais. They have to be paladins. Oh, I didn't know it was a woman. What? It's Denko. What? Ben's giving us a Japanese lesson? Or just being Well, this, ben? this, this is lightning. This is how it attacks. Ah. Uh-huh. Well... Anyway, um, but yeah. Uh, like. Jesse said, did you say the sword soul? Uh, I haven't, but I did give him shit for it because it just seems... There's a sword soul anime? Oh, there's a no, dog in here. No, Jesse has highlighted that there should be a level 3 and a level 5 uh, sword soul pendulum. <laughs> level 7? <seven? laughs> Sorry. I read the next question. Mama. Next question! Oh yeah, we need to talk about that as, as well. I, I was aware of the next question already. Uh, so, uh, next question comes oh, from dog. Nash. Yeah. Uh, seeing as you cool guys dog. like dogs, uh, Bobo, which is the dog pictured in our uh, podcast question section. You have to check the Discord now to see the dog. Yeah. Um, Down the link in the description. Uh, Bobo wants to know, what's the worst set that you've picked up a case of? Uh, he ordered a case of Phantom Nightmare, and because it looks arse, he now regrets it. To be fair, you can pull... Cards that are like. in shiny rarity that make your up for your purchase. Yeah. Oh, yes. On that. Just quickly before we oh, answer yeah. your question. I was meant to remind you of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was aware of it. I told uh, him to make notes. I, I did. Look look at my very thorough note, Ben. <laughs> I made one look note. At the time of the podcast, you're checking your notes, Jake. <laughs> nah, that's fine. Um, so, on QCRs. So, I think we're in agreement that we're not a huge fan of them, yes? Yes. Well, I mean, I hate them so much, I didn't know that there were that many of them till last week. There are a lot of them, yes. <laughs> uh, 25 so, a set. Plus all the side sets where you get another five and all that kind of nonsense. Just five? Uh, some yeah. of them just get one. Some of them you get 80. Mm. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> I think I hit on the head, for me at least, and perhaps for other people listening in here at the table, why we don't like them. Some of them look so disgusting. It's a foiling on them. Yeah, but do you know what it is specifically about the foiling? It's that it's the same as fucking Starlights. No, and it's, it's an be- oversaturated. It's because card. there's too much gold in it. It's yeah. just as and the gold factor for me harks it back to the gold card sets, which at the time were great, but yeah. now have a hint of like cheapness about it. Yeah, they're becoming trivialized. Well, yeah, there's the... When I say set- becoming, they became trivialised in the Megatons. Yeah, so there is a point now where, like, there's too many of them and they're now just losing their appeal. Just like Secret Rare. I'm gonna... So you can you can do the good old-fashioned fucking hit them with a bit of ass turn and it strips away. Oh, you can dull it down a bit? The 25th is... So, like, the actual 25th rarity is, is just behind the art. So you can acetone the art away. And then you can stick whatever the fuck you want on over the top oh so you mean like strip the 25th and then put something else on oh no you can strip the art and then the 25th is there and you can make whatever the fuck you want to be 25th, 25th. oh you can make 25th tokens if you want to make 25th tokens oh 25th cent uh 25th century 20 25th anniversary <laughs> monkey tokens 
Monke. Monke. Cool. But yeah, that was the thought that I had a little while ago in that the gold colouring in the foils does, um, at least in my mind, take me back to gold rares and then that cheapens them they somewhat. Are actually, they are objectively disgusting. Poor. On some cards, except, except the way, like sometimes, if like the art pops, so like with the, like low, like we've seen a couple of photos of low today, where yeah. the secret rare, like that secret rare wash will be over, it doesn't really pop. The art of her looks great in that. Yeah, because they've not. But put the rest it over of the, the card could be ignored. Like, I having think the, that art the low pop, art is shit. You don't like the low art. I think art? it's the laziest fucking art on the planet. Oh yeah, but it pops. <laughs> it mans. Nonna. Grandma. Um, but yeah, back to the question. Um, sets that we've bought that oh, were ass. Bosh fucking crashed like something. Yeah, I, I go out of my way to not buy a case unless I know it's going to be good. I Like, I will have the money sitting there and I'll be like, no thank you. I don't think you will regret this too much. You can just, like, surely, I mean, if you get lucky and pull exactly what you need. Well, that's the to thing. To sell. Like, if you get enough of, like, pop... What's it? I always Poplar. Forget Poplar. I keep going to call it Poplio. Remember, Dave, <laughs> you pop a Poplar in your mouth. Oh, yeah. That was the thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you get enough Poplars and you get enough of the... Which is also in an anime. Oh, Cease Poplar? and Desist. Oh, yeah. Okay. Poplars banned. Um, you can't have Poplar in two different anime. Oh, speaking of the anime, uh, Diablo Star is also getting one. Well, that's what I was saying. That's what, yeah, that's what you just said. Um, no, I I'm... assume that you picked up on Bragg's cue there and then when you said the thing and then you then had the secondary epiphany. I inceptioned. No. Yeah. I am the new Leo. <laughs> anyway. Um, like <laughs> if you pull Joseph it... Wait, no, Levin. I don't mean it. No, Jake's Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Yeah. Joseph? Yeah. He's Robin. You're the Joseph. <laughs> I'm that guy who's in everything. Are you blacklighting me? <laughs> I'm Killian. <laughs> Killian Murphy. That guy. Probably incept- He's Killian Murphy. We incepted him. Nah, Jake's more of a Joseph Gordon-Levitt. You're more of a nuclear physicist. Yeah. That. Anyway. I can't remember what the fucking question was now. Oh, if you pull enough of, like, the good ultras and, like, you get maybe the decent QCRs and stuff, you'll definitely make your money back on this case. There were definitely cases back in the day where you didn't. Uh, no, if no. you didn't pull enough of this... the money secrets, uh, oh. you did bait. No, oh, this case... Oh probably only has like three QCRs that are going to be worth anything and the rest are going to be worthless. Uh, I don't know about that. Surely some of the voice... Are Promethean. Uh, the, some of the voiceless stuff will call the back some stuff will come back. money. Okay. A little bit of money, not much. And then you can sell off the Yubles at... Uh, but that's the price. thing, if you move on them quickly enough, Whatever it'll be Yubles fine. It's only if you sit on them hoping that the bad QCRs will get better that you'll lose money. Post pools, doggo. I mean, his name is Kieran, I think I saw. Kieran Bounces. No. Yeah, Kieran. Bobo's the dog. Yeah. I said, the doggo needs to post balls. Because if you, in the question, the dog wore the, the case. Kieran did. No, no. Just go do a box opening with <laughs> just actual dog ball. Like. Bobo just wants to know what our uh, worst Yu Gi Oh uh, thing was. Kieran sorry. bought the product. There's been some bad boxes I've bought, but I've never... No, the worst I've ever bought was when I went pretty hard in on trying to get Sky Striker and then only pulled one from, like, oh, seven boxes. fucking that set. Yeah. And then the... Well, I almost got Secret Forces. The, the half... The half... The fucking Megatins. Yeah. <sighs> oh, yeah, I bought half a Megatin case. Yeah. Those are getting progressively worse. Yeah. Yeah. They Since they took promos out, yes. No uh, one's arguing this point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, last question from our Discord, at least, is from 6R6. What is your biggest musical regret? What do you guys think? I mean, the, uh, the intro music is probably one of my regrets. I would like to find a good theme eventually. Bum, 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 bum. But we're going to get Loza to do, uh, Danger Zone cover for us, yeah. Or whatever the other one was, Rock Lobster. <laughs> Why Rock Lobster? <laughs> <laughs> The bump bump is now more synonymous with us than Top Gun. Sorry, I didn't know. We didn't do no. Sorry, there's no, there's nothing similar between those at all. I'm leaving on a jet plane. 
singing on this podcast is a regret. <laughs> yeah, there's there's his musical regret singing on the pod. I was uh, down on a corn concert once. That upset me. My parents said I couldn't go. Uh, yeah. That's the most corn concert story ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, they're playing at the Horton Pavilion in like two oh. months. Can I go? And they yeah, were like, maybe. And then a month ago, I was like, hey, was like, we should probably get these oh, tickets. How old are you? Yeah, it was like, this was like, mm, this was like 14 years ago. So they hadn't dubstepped yet. They hadn't dubstepped yet. Oh, damn. Yeah, this wasn't they the had wob, 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 wob tour. <laughs> um, and they collaborated with Skrillex. I mean, who hasn't at this point, right? Which I didn't hate that album. Just wasn't. It has like two songs that are listenable. The yeah. re- the, it does not hold up. The rest of it does not hold up. Oh, I am a, I am a degenerate. Mm. <laughs> Makes a fair point. Um... I'd say my musical regret wasn't so much about the music, more so the timing. Um, And it's due to uh, Jake's fun fact of the day in that my first uh, concert that I went to was the Veronica's. Oh, I thought he was going to say Soldier Boy. No. No, Ben. Veronica's are fucking sick live, though. My sister went to that concert. Oh. Yep. I know from the timeline in the Ben Brain. (laughs) Insane in the Ben Brain. (laughs) Insane in the brain. <laughs> uh, and, um, I mean, I used to really like Michael Jackson and Rolf Harris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that oh, was wild. Oh, <laughs> 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 incredible today. Um, He's popping what was the mic. result of our poll? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What are people going to talk to me about? Well, I haven't... No, my, yeah, mine is the corn concert, yeah. There's a couple other regrets that I have from not concerts I didn't go to. For some reason... So this is a rant about living in Wollongong. Oh, okay. Get comfortable. A lot of concerts are on Tuesday nights at the Entertainment Centre. Yeah, yeah, I have noticed this. Which is yeah. when the Locals is. Yeah. I've missed out on a Stone Temple Pilots concert. I do. Yeah. Although, Scott's dead, so like, yeah. Uh, anyway, we move yeah so the poll uh so we asked you in our spotify to uh what basically... did you small talk with jake about yeah uh no one wants to talk to jake about his day yay 30 percent of people <laughs> yes 29 percent of people want to talk to him about dogs 29 yes. percent of them want to talk about what i imagine was a a joking sister's operation your sister didn't have an operation right i was mean that operation i mean she breaks her ankle almost every year so uh... chances are and Sorry, question. <laughs> is your sister a heavy girl? No. Okay. She clumsy as fuck. Okay. Just trying to see Love you, sis. whether or not <laughs> association between ankle injuries and... No, she's just clumsy. And she's a broken human. Love you. Uh, watching. And then uh, 43% of people acknowledge that he doesn't care. Love you guys. <laughs> Uh, Again, to reiterate, it's not that I don't care; it's that I won't remember. Next poll: What an, what are the animes? Which you anime are you yeah, most you... looking forward to? Yeah, yeah, that one's a clear one. But yeah. so we're going to shortlist them, though. So yeah. well, let's... hopefully we'll actually oh, can get we not just an... list all of them. Well, yeah, that's oh. what I was thinking. We'll wait till they do that's like an article of them, all right, put them all, right. all in there, and then we'll just watch the yeah. replay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works too. Because uh, I... ba- it was pretty badass. I wonder how many I can go because. It seemed to get like it let me go up to four. I think I could have done a fifth. We'll find out. Let's let's push Spotify to its limits and just have a poll of a hundred animes because we're gonna get every Rank deck. The top one hundred yeah. decks. Anime, anime of every deck. Where's my Ayutsu anime? Can't wait it's for like season seventy five when they do the Iron Chains anime. ABC. That lasts seven seconds. <laughs> Ghost trick. <gasps> Ghost trick anime would be cool. I don't know what it would be. They don't really have a story. They live in a mansion and then sometimes they go to a museum. Imagine if there's like really morbid like that. Like Alucard's oh, the backstory like, of yeah. how they all died. What if Luigi shows up? Oh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I want a Dark Rebellion next to Dragon anime. You already got Dragon anime! anime! Oh, I don't want to do my Nico Dark anime. Oh. This guy barely got an anime before yeah. he got thrown into a fucking ocean. 
Yeah. Anyway, uh, that concludes us for tonight. Uh, thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, if you are on Spotify, feel free to vote in our poll and favourite. If you're watching on YouTube... Or ask us like... a question there, which I didn't check, so you'll hear it next week. Oh, wait, I have a question. Yeah. Did you log on to the CPG account today? <laughs> no, I didn't. Did you? <laughs> no. I didn't, so we should probably change the password. Yes, and we already have. Yeah, then we figured out who logged in. Yeah, we did. We did? We did. And on that shocking ending... Who logged in? Who logged in? Find out next week on the CPG podcast. CPG Chronicles. Won't send us voice questions when we're still logging with the fucking... Goodbye. <laughs>